This is Min Man's tomb. Now, the first building that we're going to go into, Tartawan, Mexico. Hey, Ian in Brisbane. How are you, Boston? Nice you guys all to join me. Let's just wait a little bit before we get started. Minnesota, Mexico, Hawaii. Thank you so much. This is a very, very rare opportunity. Texas, how are you to see something like this? Very, very rare. I have to stress this, that to see something like this uh, is, is, um, is, a, is a very cool opportunity. So I hope you appreciate this and, and definitely share this with your friends and followers. Thank you. Hey, Arizona, Indiana, Thailand. Oh, my God. We've got some great people showing up. The Nguyen emperors uh, ruled for many, many uh, years uh, here in Vietnam. And they were based in Way. The uh, uh, capital, uh, imperial capital, was in Way, and the citadel. This particular uh, tomb is 10 kilometers from the citadel, so it's a little ways out there. I think this is the one that's out the furthest. It's close to the Pearl River, um, but uh, it's in a very wooded area, and it's it's well known for its setting. It has one of the most striking settings, and you're going to see this in a bit. So let's let's get this thing going here. So the first uh, uh, building is usually, well, the first, I'll tell you the courtyard. This is the honor courtyard. So we'll start with the honor courtyard. There's a few people here already. It's just after 10 a.m. in the morning. I got here a couple hours ago. Uh, this was built um, after his death uh, in 1841. 1841. So his son built it for him. He wasn't alive to uh, see it built. A lot of um, the emperors uh, were actually alive to, to oversee construction and they also lived in these uh, temples part-time as well or, or uh, tombs, whatever you want to call them, because they were so lavish, they were so lush. Hey Atlanta, how are you? Thanks for watching and uh, feel free to share this uh, broadcast as well. Just swipe the screen left to right on iOS or up on Android. Super easy to share this rare opportunity to see uh, a Nguyen Emperor's tomb here in just outside of Way, Vietnam. Hey Miami. You remember this place? Oh cool. Well not everybody gets out here. This is one of the more remote uh, tombs uh, of the Nguyen emperors here in uh, Wei. So they always have these, like a, a elephant horse and then these guards, and they're always, they have to be shorter than the king, okay? You can't make them taller than the king or the emperor. So let's uh, move up. The first uh, building has uh, basically, uh, it's a 2,500 uh, uh, Chinese character, I guess epitaph or story about the emperor. It was written by uh, his son that uh, took over. Hey, Florida. And uh, it, it also talks about the uh, design of this place and how it was built. Oh, that's very kind of you to say that. Thank you so much. Thank you for the hearts. Really appreciate that. Um, so I've been here for about an hour and a half. I've already been doing some filming for my podcast and capturing a lot of images. This is uh, the stone tablet here. So usually you'll see this around the entrance to the hole. This is now, have a look at this. This is Min Mang, Min Mang's tomb here in uh, Wei, Vietnam. And there, it, you, you go through a number of gates to get to the actual tomb itself. The tomb is closed. It's only open once a year, the actual tomb. Now, he's actually not buried here, but they'll put relics of his in that tomb. They only open it on the anniversary of his death once a year. So this is one of the uh, first gates that we'll walk through. Somebody asked me if we're getting close. It's going to take a few minutes. It's going to take a few minutes. And I'm going to take my time a little bit because there's so much beauty here to absorb and really to get the full effects of the atmosphere here that I can pass on to you. Uh, you have to take your time. You can't rush it too much. Uh, no, it costs 100,000 dong, so about $5. This is the temple, the Sung An Temple. So they always have, the, all of these um, tombs are pretty much structured the same way. They always have a, a temple for worship of the king and the queen, his main queen. He would have had, he had many, many um, wives and concubines. I think it could have been up to 400 altogether. Yeah, $5 is pretty good. $5 is pretty good. You can hire a guide too, if you like, which costs maybe 
that much more. <laughs> you city, oh, that's terrible. Yes, I'm gonna show you the bonsai trees because they're just absolutely so special here. And feel free to, um, good for you, feel free to uh, take screenshots and uh, do whatever you want with the screenshots. You can save them, send them to your friends, share them, but please do uh, tweet out a screenshot back to me and I'll retweet out my favorite three. And I share those on Facebook too. Very, very rare opportunity to see uh, one of the Nguyen Emperor's tombs here live on Periscope. Cool, thanks for watching. I know it's late for some people. It's 10.15 uh, in the morning here, um, Thursday morning in Hue, Vietnam. This is Vietnam, Hue, Vietnam, the imperial capital, still considered the spiritual capital of the country as well. No, I don't live here. I do live in Asia, but I don't live in Vietnam. There's more and more expats coming to live here, though, I have to tell you. You're new. Very cool. Thanks so much. Make sure you follow me so you can get the notifications. You can choose if you want to watch live or watch the replay. I scope only pretty much Asia. I live in Asia, and I scope all around Asia. And I am a broadcaster. I own a, uh, I have a website called FarEastAdventureTravel.com and I produce a couple of podcasts called Far East Adventure Travel in the iTunes store and I'm also a photographer. Bullet holes, hey? I don't know if there was a whole lot of fighting around here to be honest with you. This is 10 kilometers away from the Citadel. So this is the backside of the uh, Sung An Temple. Uh, no, I'm Canadian. Uh, this is uh, the temple that was built to worship the Emperor Min Man and his main wife. Now, typically in this setup here, the central bridge is only to be used by the Emperor, but he was never around to see it, so he could never use it. But typically in these tombs, the central bridge was just used for the Emperor. So there's three terraces here. Okay, do you see the three? They represent um, the three powers of life. So earth, water, and, and the heavens. And this is called the Pavilion of Light here. This is called the Pavilion of Light. So we're going to walk down in just a minute or so and then walk up to the Pavilion of Light. So this smoke is, they're just burning a lot of uh, trash and stuff over here right now. Or they've been doing a lot of trimming. The gardeners were up here early this morning when I got here and they were doing a lot of trimming and cutting and stuff. So they're, um, so they're burning all this stuff right now. There's, so this smoke is, is wafting over um, the lake here. This is the Lake of Impeccable Clarity. Well, this, I said, this particular tomb is really well known for its setting. It has one of the most um, spectacular settings of all of the tombs. Yes, I use a Steadicam. Uh, uh, basically, it's a Steadicam made for iPhones. So this is the Pavilion of Light. And then once we pass through this, we're going we're gonna to walk down some stairs. Yes, it's on an iPhone 6 Plus. And then we'll see the gate where the actual tomb of Min Man is. But it really, this the setting here is just absolutely stunning. There's a smell of incense. I think that smoke is quite strong, but there's also a smell of incense coming from the temple as well. I'm so happy to share this with you and that I've got a decent broadcast signal as well. And this is the final bridge that goes over the lake and up to the tomb. And we're going we're gonna to walk down here right now and then we'll look back. You see these lovely gardens here as well? It's too bad this emperor did not get a chance to enjoy this because many of them, as I said before, built their tomb before they died. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for watching.
And after the broadcast too, feel free to retweet this out if you didn't share it during the broadcast. And that's super easy to do and I do appreciate that. And I do retweet some of those as well. Cool. <laughs> it's great you can travel. I used to armchair travel all the time, you know. I was there was many years in my life where I couldn't travel or didn't travel. That's awesome. I'm so happy. That's what I do. That's why I do what I do to inspire you to travel and see new things and experience things that you never would at home. Um, so I was an armchair traveler for a long, long time. I used to watch Rick Steves all the time. I used to watch Lonely Planet and uh, those shows and uh, those people inspired me to travel. They wanted me to get out and do what I do now. And all of so many other people, Richard Weiss, uh, who I went on a climb up Kilimanjaro with, who does the ABC show Born to Explore. He's an inspiration of mine. So many people have inspired me to do this. So this is the gate here. So his tomb is up here, only opened once a year, once a year on the anniversary of his death. It feels very tranquil here, very serene and peaceful, even with the big groups. But I don't imagine as many big groups get out to this particular tomb as a couple of the other ones, because this is one is the furthest out. But some people will hire a car as well for the day for 35 or $40. And a car can get you around to like the top three tombs and the Citadel in a day. And I rented a motorbike for six bucks and I got out here myself. If this could be your inspiration for traveling to Asia with this setting, I think you're set. I think if you kept this in your head, you will one day visit. So, you know, you'll look at these buildings and you'll see, of course, lots of traditional Chinese architecture within these buildings. And the Chinese were in Vietnam for a thousand years. So they did leave a lot of their mark here in their clothing, in architecture, in a way of life, in philosophy, in spirituality. They left Confucianism, they left Buddhism, they left Taoism here, and Chinese folk religion. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching Far East Adventure Travel. Please remember to follow me. Uh, all you have to do is tap that little guy right there. My profile will come up, then hit follow, and uh, you'll get the notification. So if you choose to watch the live broadcast, you can, or you can watch the replay later no problem and also i'm available on instagram and facebook as far east adventure travel and i'm trying to post every day on instagram i am posting every day on facebook with little videos images that i've captured on my trip here i've been in um thank you so much thanks jevons take care i have been in vietnam since july 18th i will be here till close to the end of the month so you can go back on my timeline and see all of the things that i've discovered and shared so uh, please do that i really appreciate that thank you so much i really appreciate it and do feel free to share this uh, in a tweet after the broadcast as well thank you so much from hue vietnam this is john sabot